Now, since I had a chance to take this on a test drive to Aptos, I thought I'd give a personal review of how this RV would work for me and my family. Now, first off, the Vegas was the 2014 RV of the year by RV Business with a new classification. This Vegas is actually called an RUV, which stands for Recreational Utility Vehicle. Now, here's the deal. An RUV is about five feet longer than a standard SUV, yet with all the comforts of a big motorhome. Now, how I'd like to start my review is with drivability. Now, driving over to Aptos, going through all the mountains and twists and turns, it was really easy to drive. And one of the great benefits is the curved windshield. It's very easy to see. You can see miles ahead with no issues. The other thing they did in this Vegas is they have a lot of safety features. They have side cameras in the mirrors. They also have a backup camera. So I felt really in control when driving. Now, although the seats are really comfortable, one of the things that I didn't like, for me at least it was a problem, it was hard to find the controls under here of how to move the seat either up or back or swivel it. So that's something obviously that I have to get used to. Now, one thing that was really cool in the driver area and the captain's chair area was this desk where you can do your homework or, or reading or whatever you want. Now, regarding floor plan, the floor plan is great for me and my family of four. Um, regarding the counter space, though, this is something I wasn't crazy about. As you can see, it's kind of small. Now, to take care of that issue, what they did was they installed a pop-up counter, but if people are coming in and out, such as kids, it blocks the doorway. So I wasn't crazy about that. Another thing they did do, though, to increase area as far as the kitchen is concerned, is they put this table here. So when you're cooking or entertaining or serving, it actually feels like it's increased counter space. Now, regarding storage, for this being a smaller uh, RV, there's a lot of storage and they really designed it well. Now, another thing when people RV they're concerned about oftentimes is you don't want your utensils or your food popping out of the drawers or cabinets when you're driving. Now, as you notice, these drawers lock into place really well, so there's no issue going down the road. Now, stepping back to the bathroom here, with my husband, he's about 6'2", so there's, for this size of an RV, there's a lot of room in the bathroom, and stepping into the shower. Now, with heels, I'm about 5'7", so as you can see, my husband could fit in here nicely and take a great shower, keep him happy. Now, regarding the sleeping area in this RUV, if you notice up front, there is a bed that comes down automatically right over the captain's chairs and that sleeps one. There's also a sleeping area right here at this couch. It's called a jackknife bed. That pulls out really easily, takes just a couple seconds, provides another sleeping area. Now, moving back to the bedroom, the queen walk around bed is really cool and I'll tell you why. There's enough room in there where it's a walk around queen where you don't have to climb over the other person uh, <clears throat> who's in bed with you. Also, there's a lot of storage underneath the bed. So that, that was a big deal for me too. Now, once again, this is a 24 foot RUV. And what's great about this, it has a slide out out the back where it turns into a 27 foot. So overall, I'm gonna give you my rating. Regarding drivability, this really was a nine and a half. I mean, honestly, I felt like it was driving itself. It felt just like driving an SUV. Now, regarding floor plan and comfort, for my family of four, I give it a nine. Although definitely it's smaller than a larger RV, it had every single feature that I was looking for. Regarding storage, I'd give it about an eight. It, it fit everything, would fit everything I need, but a little bit smaller. So the other thing that I wanna talk about is price. Now, the retail price on this Vegas is 99,288. The average price among dealers is anywhere between 85 and 90,000. Now, map pricing at Seagrams would be 82,400. Now here's the other thing that's really cool. A loaded SUV would be about 80 grand, right? You can get the Vegas, which is an RUV, recreational utility vehicle, for just a little bit more money. And once again, you get the second home tax deduction. So overall value rating for me and my family for the Vegas, I give it a 10. To do your own review of all the Vegas models, head on down to Seagrins, just 25 minutes south of San Jose, right off the 101 freeway at the Gilray Outlets.